गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास सो इन मैथ्स वी आर सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ ब्लॉक ट्वेंटी फाइव विच इज डेटा हैंडलिंग येस सो इन दिस वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू पुट द डेटा इन आर टेबल using the tally marks isn't it children and also we have learned how to read the information from a pictograph and how to draw the pictograph isn't it children so today we will start with the third topic which is scaled bar graph and circle chart okay so scaled bar graph you need a graph paper to draw the bar graph children and for circle chart there is a circle in which you have some information that you have to understand and answer the questions okay let's see the sums here so here they have given show the following data in a bar graph and answer the questions okay so here you have apples in the month of march january february march and april that is the same data what they have given in the previous question okay so here we need to draw the bar graph and if you see children in january you have one apple in february there are four apples in march there are Three apples, and in April there are two apples, and each apple is equal to one ten apples. Each apple, one apple is equal to ten apples. That means in January there are ten apples, in February there are forty apples, and in March there are thirty apples, and in April there are twenty apples. Okay, so for this information you need to draw the bar graph. Let's see how. See, this is your bar graph. Okay, so the title of your apples. you can write the title is equal to apples or number of apples sold in a month that can be also your title okay so take a bar take a graph paper children in that make two lines which are standing and sleeping one horizontal and vertical like straight they have to be okay can you see here the black line here yes and they should meet at a point o which is called as origin okay it is called as origin o okay and also when you are writing the numbers on y axis it becomes zero also it will be the zero also okay now coming to your naming the lines so the sleeping line is called as x axis okay the sleeping line is called as x axis and the standing line is called as y axis okay you have to draw one sleeping line one standing line and they should meet at a point which is origin and the sleeping line is called x axis and the standing line is called y axis okay now if you look at the table children the pictograph what they have given in that you have months and number of apples isn't it yes so months you have to take it on x axis here see months january february march april okay on y axis you have to take the number of apples sold okay so number of apples or number of apples sold also you can write so that is your naming the x axis and y axis okay now so each here it is block right so you need to draw rectangles rectangular blocks you have to draw okay so so the first month is january where you will write like this february march april okay and on y axis you have to give numbers so here generally what happens is we will give 1 2 3 4 5 like that but if you see the pictograph children it is given that each apple is equal to 10 apples isn't it so 10 apples and the month of february there are 40 apples so in a graph paper if you write 1 2 3 4 you can't write till 40 there are not so many lines there are not 40 lines isn't it that's why we will make a scale which is 1 unit is equal to 10 units so here you will write 1 but we have taken y axis is equal to 10 units so that becomes 10 the next one becomes 20 the next one becomes 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 okay so in that way we'll give the names and numbers to the x and y axis okay you understood till here now you have to write the scale here okay on y axis what did we take months which is january february march april may all the months whatever they have given in the table 
yes so x axis is months and on y axis you have taken one unit is equal to 10 units isn't it that you need to mention okay actually what we have to do we have to take 1 2 3 4 but are we taking that one unit will be equal to one unit only but not here isn't it we are taking 10 units as one unit so that you need to mention here one unit is equal to 10 units okay now you understood now let's see how to draw this bar graphs okay how see uh, in january how many apples are there one apple one apple is equal to 10 apples isn't it so you have to draw a rectangle on january till 10 like this okay you have till 10 this is yes so in that way next in february you have four apples that means 40 isn't it each apple is equal to 10 so four apples will be equal to 40 so you will write till 40 see so 40 and this is february okay and this is 10 and this is january so those two should coincide children okay now coming to march march you have three apples so, 3 apples means 30, isn't it? So, 30 and March. Okay. Here you will not do. Here you will not do. You will just place a scale and check where it is meet, matching. The March month and 30. There you will draw the bar like this. Okay. Here also. 40. Here you need to draw the bar because it should coincide with February also. You are not drawing for January, right? You are drawing, dra drawing for only February. Here also. Only to the January month. Okay. Now coming to April. April you have two apples that becomes 20. So check. Here you got this is your April. And then you need to draw a bar like this. Okay. You have to make sure that it is coinciding with the 20 on y axis and april in the on the x axis okay in that way you need to draw the bar graph okay children and again you will get the questions so which month apples were sold higher which month it is lower or how many apples are sold in the month of march in that way you might get the questions so looking at the pictograph or your bar graph you can write it easily okay children now coming to your circle chart so read the following circle chart and answer the following questions. So here is a circle where it is divided into some parts. So that is nothing but your circle chart. So here if you see children you have subjects. So title of this circle chart is nothing but your subjects. Okay. Now you have computers, English, science and math. Okay. It might be favorite subjects. It might be the subjects you have in the school. It might be anything. So, but if you see children, computer is having more space. That means if you take this favorite subject. So, the most favorite subject is computers because it is occupying more. And which is the least? Which is the smallest one? Math. Isn't it? Yes. Now, if you see this, see. If a circle is divided into two parts, then it is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. If it is divided into four parts, so this becomes 1 by 4. Fractions, do you remember? 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4. Isn't it? That means English is taking 1 by 4. Yes, and science is also taking 1 by 4. When you combine English and science, how much it is? 1 by 2, isn't it? it is, we are combining both like this. So, half, 1 by 2. So, in that way also there might be questions like which two parts make half of the circle? Which two parts make the 1 by 2 of the circle? Then, then, then the answer will be English and science. Okay? Or it might, they might ask you what are the parts, what are the subjects we, we, which are taking 1 fourth of the circle? So, 1 fourth of the circle means English is taking 1 fourth. Science is taking one fourth. So, English and science. So, in that way, based on the questions from the circle, you need to answer. Okay, children? So, there are some, these questions in the daily schedule. Copy it down in your classroom book. Okay? For previous question also, the graph is given and also the questions for apples. That also they have given. So, you can copy it down in your classroom book. Okay, children? Now, coming to your homework, complete the volume book, children. 
volume book 3 page number 47 and 48 s3 scaled bar graphs s4 circle charts okay so with this we have completed with our block children and next you have exams prepare well and do well okay write neatly so bye children